brain training, it deals with the mental emotional side of the triangle. And, and we talk about in applied kinesiology, you have three parts of the triangle. You have the physical, structural, mental, emotional, and the electrical, chemical. So because it's so broad, because it's so poorly defined, because it's so nebulous, I say, well, we'll just call this stuff, the mental emotional stuff, we'll call that brain training because it deals with all the, the mental stuff, so like how, like how well you can do math, for example, is mental. How well you can do your taxes. Now, if you have an emotional resistance to it, you won't even look at it, right? Or if you're like, you're done working the math and you're like, oh man, that's really, that's really uncomfortable. So there's things in your life that you avoid because you have an emotional aversion to them, right? Um, and a lot of times you get stinking thing and you get stuck thoughts. Not, a, not every adaptation in, in your life is a good one. Right? There's a lot of times where you learn something that got you through a period of time that then becomes like a limitation later on. It becomes a handicap later on in life. Right? So brain training literally is specific adaptation to implied demand. We create a situation in your mind, then your body adapts to that, your brain adapts to that, and that becomes your new way of thinking. It's literally updating the human operating system like a computer. Your body. It's like the body's a keyboard, like we push right, buttons and we just... Physical manipulation and it's tied to the brain? Or like you just chat with them? No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, anybody else want to chat? Do we need like the guinea yeah. pigs on your the brain training <laughs> that, that all day workshop that we did? No, that's, yeah. that's a whole other thing. <laughs> that's a series that, of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that's, that's one part. So here's yeah. the other thing. Um, the breadth of stuff that I've studied, you know, what you've experienced is, well, you got to experience a couple of different things, right? Yeah. So, but like the, the switched on selling class is what we did, and that's a one day, eight hour class where we update your thoughts all about sales. Um, and that's very, very like divested from any kind of emotional thing. It's, it's, it's a, an approach to a process. But your experience is probably radically different than what I've done for some of the other people here, right? Right. And you got to see, you got all, actually, each of you have got to see a whole bunch of different aspects of what I do. I think probably, because you started this. <laughs> like, anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, um, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, thank you. With, with that piece, the easiest analogy I can give you is the brain is a computer, right? The body is a keyboard. And there's different reflex points on the body. And then we have to run specific programs. Like if you start just banging on your keyboard, you're not gonna get the information where you need to go. So you have to open a program, find the cursor, put the thing in the right place, figure out what the problem is. Um, a lot of the guys that I work on that are computer programmers tell me I'm more like a computer programmer than I am like a doctor. Uh, because that's a lot of what it is. Especially when I kind of get into the thing where I just mumble to myself and I start touching stuff. Like, it was... I, I can't <laughs> What I've been learning with my work with Dr. Danny is that your body registers a perceived threat or a real threat and it doesn't know the difference. So that's one of the things that we work on for me in particular, that my body doesn't understand the difference between an actual perceived threat shock and the real threat. So he's just changing my brain to not respond to the to the perceived threats my body thinks is a, thinks is a real threat. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if that's helpful. Okay, so okay, so I've been an antidepressant for years. Yeah. Are you saying that you'd be able to help me? Anybody wanna Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. I just the anxiety and taking tranquilizers all the time, no more. Because the anxiety does something with the anxiety. I mean it's very emotional when you do it too, but it's amazing. I mean, have I not been anxious like Horrible. Yeah. Frank. 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 And then he had that he had a concern. He's like, "Well, what what are we talking here? Is cost?" I was like, um, "So I don't know if you've seen the place. I could use a little freshening up. And I know that you're a guy with a particular set of skills that can make this happen. This is the this is the this is the, not, That's this the, is the Frank. Frank that did like all yeah. the yes. Ethan knows it. Ethan knows it. Yeah. yeah. The shelves and the congratulations. Yeah. Anyway, 
So you, she asked about antidepressants. Were you going to say something? Um, so I am Jen, and it's super strange to me to be with all of you, but I'm an alcoholic, and... I'm a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> so I have been in the program a little bit less than two months, but I was using, instead of going to my therapist, and being like, I have a problem, we're gonna use drugs, and we're gonna make my brain better, we're gonna use alcohol. Which seems like a really good idea, right? So I went to Dr. Danny about two weeks into realizing that I didn't wanna go down like the pharmaceutical path. And I was like, I need you to help me. And this is not what I wanna do, this is not who I wanna be. I don't want to be using drugs in any form to help me. And he's like, I'll help you. And we've done seven sessions, I think, at this point. And I don't I don't use drugs at all. And it's, it's like I don't use something that's prescribed. I use a ton of vitamins. Um, I work my program, but he's been able to genuinely change my whole brain chemistry like there has been a lot of uh, excitement in our household household um, the last week or two with a job change and you know some transitions and normally my anxiety and my depression would be getting the best of me and I'd be thinking okay I have this 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 my husband's nowhere to be found who am I going to rely on? What am I going to do? Oh, wait, I'll just cope. And it is so, so not even realistic anymore. It's, there's like a newfound perspective. Hmm. Like, there's no more anxiety. There's no more, no more feeling of like this overwhelmingness. There's no more what am I going to do? It's like, let's take this moment and be happy in this moment, and then let's tackle each stage that happens next. You're able so, to get through it. Yes. There is no feeling of codependence on a drug or alcohol or a chemical substance at all. If I may, how is your, how is your approach to parenting different? since we started. Oh my God, it's also probably different. like night and day. <laughs> it is, it's so different that it's embarrassing, actually, because um, we are a yeller family. Like we yell, we scream, and we think like those are gonna yield results, and that's not where it is. And so like I've taken a step back and been like, okay, this is normal childhood behavior, like they're expressing their feelings, they're expressing their wants, they're expressing, you know, they've had a shit day just like I did, and that's okay. And then my husband would come home and be like, well, I've had a shit day, so it's not okay that they've had a shit day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're just gonna yell a lot. Today's and not your day. <laughs> like, exactly, like today's not your day. You're going to do exactly what I've said, exactly when I've said to do it, and that's it. And we, since I've gotten healthy and like changed my brain chemistry and all that, it has been vastly different. So I'm like, we need to look at quality over quantity mm -hmm. because there's so little, they're still learning. I mean, we range from 12 to four is our age range and there's four of them. So it's a lot, you know, and there's a lot of activities, there's a lot of school stuff and there's a lot of um, disabilities. So there's a, there's a whole conglomerate of things that we have to take in on a daily basis. And it can be extremely overwhelming. Like my oldest has severe ADHD and I love him, but there are days that I just want to strangle them. Yeah. Like there yeah. are days that I just want to strangle them. And just so you know, I had three kids and they were fairly healthy and there were days when I wanted to strangle my kids too. <laughs> so I can't <laughs> like, like, it's a lot. Kids are a lot. Yeah. But when you add in 
some kind of deficit, it makes things extremely difficult. And you wonder whether or not you're parenting correctly and you're giving them the benefit and you're doing what's best for them. And it took a really hard look in the mirror and help with Dr. Danny to be like, this is okay. This behavior is okay. It's not affecting anyone. But when he goes to school, maybe we need to dial it back a little bit. Maybe we need to work on this. Maybe we need to work on that. Like there's a lot of things that he kind of like threw out on the table, so to speak, and was like, we need to fix this. But these other things, they don't matter. This totally normal kid behavior. And then you add like the husband element in. You know, because he's all explaining this to me while, like, we're, while we're brain training, right? <laughs> and we're, we're brain training. <laughs> Multitasking, AK, chronic, whatever you want to call it. But, magic. um... It's magic. Voodoo no, magic, witchcraft, whatever you want to call it. Wizardry. Wizardry. <laughs> with his help, with his hat. <laughs> Do you know? Does Dr. Danny see your oldest... He I has do. not. Okay. That is our next stop. Okay. So, so mommy first, and then yeah. So it was mom first, and then and then him. But it's a lot, you know. And like for my us, for my husband, to understand. Like we're so so since I've gone through brain training, let's call it that. Um, it's very different. He doesn't see things the same way that I do because his brain hasn't been rewired. It hasn't been, like, let's be honest, his brain hasn't been rewired yet. You know, and it's okay. You know, he can still be anxious and be like, oh, I'm mad all the time. And our kids are doing all this crap. But well, they'll come around. They'll eventually become believers because when I started coming to Dr. Danny, my husband was never a believer of Never. If you can't fix it with a prescription. Well, he doesn't even take he doesn't even take yeah. aspirin or anything like that. But when it, he finally had a, a pain that was bad enough, and I said, "You need to go see Dr. Danny." And he did, and the pain went away. He now tells everybody. About it. I mean, it's like you know, he's uh, he's a real fan.